Welcome back to the series. In this series, I show a project built with Next.js 14, Shad CN, Tailwind, and Superbase as a backend. In this video, I'm going to cover the CRUD operation, which is create, read, edit, and delete on some posts that I created a table in the backend. This is my post table, and this is Superbase console. And in here, uh, right after creating the table, I initially loaded the data using this, created a CSV file, and loaded it up. And this is the data structure of my table, mostly a text and string. That being said, let's go back. And as you can see here, I've implemented a pagination. And this table, pagination, everything you see here created with Shad, CN, and Tailwind. That being said, let's create a new post. And here, if I hit create, it blocks me immediately. And uh, the validation here and the form functionality provided by React Hook Form and the Zod library. So let's do this. AAA title and a bunch of gibberish here and small AAA as author. And if I hit create, it immediately tells me it has been successfully created. So I go back and at the top of the list, I find my brand new created post. All right, so now let's uh, edit something here. So as you can see, SS post ID 40. So let's go there and I'm gonna add edited one and post. And immediately we have a message saying successfully updated. So once we go back and edited one is right there, our post has been up to date. And now let's go ahead and delete one. Post 38, delete, and post 38 is gone. Also here, uh, I added something extra here, like for example, a page template I created, which is uh, responsive and using my own components. And this is a repeatable component that I use to create other pages. And here is a latest suspension uh, component that React brings in. As you saw it, that delay was uh, artificially created by me. And you saw this uh, headline just loaded up as soon as the page loaded. But And this step loaded later with a uh, spinner because just this block was put inside the suspense component, which we will see how to use when we go to the code. And this is also a custom error, error page. And this is the global one. So let's go back, admin portal, and our post. All that being said, let's go to a diagram to see the application architecture. And this is what's happening behind the scenes. I have uh, multiple layers here. First is the front end layer on Next.js. That's where all my ShadCN components are. As you saw in the example, uh, the post list, that's a table. And then uh, we have single post. Actually, I forgot to show you. Uh, let me go back. As preview, I also have single posts like this. You click on it, and as you can see, the uh, spinners and everything involved. So that being said, let's go back. So single post page, and then a delete operation, update post form you saw, and next uh, and insert post form you also see. All these components, uh, the front end components, are talking to their corresponding next layer components, which is basically the state management layer using Zustand. And uh, usually this is where I locate my uh, Zustand store files, use post store. That's where for post list, for bringing in all the post, I'm using the function called fetch post. For single posts, I'm using fetch single post. And for delete, remove post, update, update post, and insert add post. And these functions, these state management functions, are talking to the next layer, which is the service layer. This is a layer which works as a middleman between the API layer and the state management layer. 
basically uh, using these API calls. I've turned them into uh, nice little functions called get post, get single, delete post, edit post, credit post, which are basically invoking these backend API endpoints and uh, using using the HTTP methods like a get to get all the posts, ID get or single post delete. This is also ID deletes. Sorry, I missed that. And then uh, ID put and post for insert and put for update or edit. And this is the API layer where I use all the necessary Superbase functions to communicate with the Superbase cloud. I have a free one at this point. And Superbase cloud then takes the data, insert them into its Postgres RDBMS or Postgres SQL database. That said, let's hit the code. And when we do, we're going to start from this layer. From We're going to start from the back and eventually make it to the front. All right, so we're back at the code. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and cover this layer, which is the Next.js backend layer. So let's go find them. We have to go under App, API, and Posts. And Posts, if I go under ID, I find route.ts, and this is what I'm using to get single post given an ID, and this is the uh, Superbase method that I'm calling on. And then let's go under the posts route. This is the main route, and this is where I have the get, and this is the Superbase function to get all the posts. And also I'm ordering it in such a way so that uh, the last post is at the top, and this is how I'm handling error. And next would be the post. And this is the function that is used for inserting the data. And this is the necessary Superbase function. This is where we're sending the title, body, author, and all the necessary info to the Superbase backend and while inserting the data. And here is the put, put method. And this is the uh, Superbase function for editing. And at last, this is the delete method. And this is, and this is the Superbase function to delete, give it an ID. Next, we're going to uh, look at this services layer. This is where we take these. This is where we make the calls to these endpoints and turn them into nicely uh, reusable functions so that we can use them to our next layer. So let's go. And to find them, we're going to go under services and post service. And this is where we can see uh, I'm actually getting the main URL from my .env file and slash API slash post. This is where we're making the calls. That's the API endpoint. And that's where to get the post, I'm making this call. To get the single post, I'm making this function get single passing the ID and the create post uses this one and for editing this one and last but not least the delete post as you can see right here all these guys now let's go to our Zustan store where we get to see how we're handling our state management all right to find Zustan we go under store and this is our file use post store and here we are just bringing in the create method from Zustand and then all those uh, necessary methods that we declared in our service layer are pulling in and the post this is the type for uh, for our uh, post object since this is a typescript so this is actually coming from types and this, this is our type file. So let's go back to post store. And here we're declaring a post state where all the uh, data types are declared. Once again, this is TypeScript. And here we are declaring a hook, use post store. And this is where we're giving it the initial values, post null, empty array, total, etc., etc. 
and the modal uh, open and close status uh, get total post this is how we're collecting the total number of posts fetch post to get all the posts fetch single post for single one we're providing an id as a parameter and then add post this we, this is the one we use for post insert and every time we do we just uh, invoke that to get total post so that the total post is up to date and this is the edit one and this is the remove one and the rest of the few are just uh, modal open closing and uh, setting the added new post this is another function whenever we add a new post or update we just uh, update the state overall this way so this is our dushtan store so next let's go start with the post list with pagination so let's go find that okay we're back at the code and uh, let's find our post page so this is under app admin and the posts and here under the id that's where the single page is and this is our single page we're calling it getting the uh single id single post id and then passing it to our single post content which is this and this was what a very simple one this is creating our single page component or page and here is our main page for the post list and here we're calling post page content which is this file right here we're loading up all our states from our zustan store and then using a use effect to fetch all the posts for so that it's just up to date every time and then uh, and look at here we have this is where i also use the suspense uh, component which is a very new one uh, we, in between this component whatever you use uh, the rest of the page will load up but it will delay and use a uh, you know, loading spinner just for this little, uh, whatever is the children here, like post table and post pagination. So now let's go check out post table and post pagination. We are bringing them from uh, components. So let's go look at um, components and then post. And here is the post table. All these uh, components are coming from Chad CN. And right here, I'm using all those states from the use post state, use post store, the use effect to up, up, you know make the total up to date, and the rest is just a table table code. And this is the one for the modal open. You know when you, when you're deleting something, it just verifies are you sure whatever. So now this is the pagination component. Here we are defining our. Uh, current page, uh, setting up the uh, new page, etc., and updating the page number when the next is clicked. And right here, we are displaying everything accordingly. And now that we are here, so let me just quickly show you the uh, post delete modal. This is where actually the mo when the modal opens, using this, we're actually finishing the delete job, you know, on confirm, on close, open and close. So now let's go back and under post, let's go under insert. And here is the uh, post insert page. But we're bringing in the insert form and this is what the insert form looks like. We're implementing uh, the uh, Zod form schema and we're using the use form from uh, React Hook form and also bringing in Zod Resolver from the Zod library. And uh, the rest is pretty straightforward. We're just invoking the add post from the uh, Zustan store and handling error right here. And this is what the uh, form looks like. Let's uh, make it a little bit bigger so that you can see the whole thing. This is then one extra component that we no longer I no longer use, so I disabled it. In fact, I can just remove it from right here. Save me some time there. Okay. All right. This is the whole thing. Now let's go back to edit. 
And here is the custom loading page. And then the main page, this is where we're bringing in the, uh, the back button and the edit form. And this is the edit form. Same way, we are having the uh, Zod and the React hook form here, Zod schema right here. Actually, I can just delete this. No longer need that. This is your whole form. Let me make it larger here. Okay. This is basically uh, created with uh, Chad CN components, the act hook form, and Zod library for validation. So this is the entire edit form with that we have seen pretty much all our components for listing the post single post deleting post updating and inserting the post with that i conclude this video thanks for watching